So guys, generally you go on holiday, you're taking your music with you, you're taking your phone with you, you might have extra lights for riding bikes, you've got your GoPros of course, I mean you're capturing that moment and then you might have a drone. So what do all these things have in common is that they're charged um, via USB-C or micro USB if you've got a cell phone it's a lightning port but they all run flat at the most inconvenient times. So taking all these away, I mean, GoPros, they're wonderful, but they do run flat. If you're on a week trip in the middle of nowhere in Africa, then your cell phone's always going dead. That is like a day-to-day -day thing. My cell phone is always dead. So yeah, to solve this and to charge all these devices is this guy. This is the Red E. 10,000 milliamp power bank, your all-in-one solution, power traveler. So, yeah, from the get-go, I was well impressed with this. So let's show the unboxing of this guy and what it's capable of. And I'll run you through the features of this device. Okay, so let's unbox this. this uh, let's get the seam there plastic off there we go so unboxing finally nice little magnetic packaging oh that's nice so there's your unit fresh it's a fresh one so you get a little charge cable that's with a micro USB which is quite nice you can use it on a lot of other devices and here's the unit itself so let's take it out. Okay, it's fresh. Let's have a look what that is. Okay, it's instruction. It's the P10H Power Traveler. There's your instructions. Okay, so power indicator button. Okay, let's run you through the functions. Very nice packaging. Well done. That's nice. Okay, so we've got the power indicator. Hit it there. Ah, so it's three quarters. Always with power banks, drones, um, your Canon batteries, your GoPro batteries. Never leave them flat and never leave them fully charged. I think a three quarter charge is probably the safest. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of rumors. Prove me wrong, whatever. That's how i um been recommended from a guy that makes um, portable power banks for houses almost like a Tesla he said three quarters is probably the safest um, yeah prove me wrong I don't know if I'm right I'm not a scientist but anyways uh, so a power indicator button is on the top that's your indication um, yeah so the charge time let's have a look here charging the power bank micro input on the top so you'll see on the top of that that goes in there. Wait, sorry, wrong way. Let's make sure the orientation's right. Remember, don't force it. It's like a relationship. Okay, now that plugs into any USB uh, ports like your computer, your cell phone charger, um, and that'll charge the unit up. So, let's plug it into our friend here. And there we go, you'll see it charging and it will flick up right onto 100%. So yeah, that is you, you're busy charging the unit now. Okay, we're not gonna charge it up first time, everything. So, um, okay, you've got a bit of safety features here, really easy. So, my experience, okay, this is a brand new unit. This is my old unit. So I went traveling, um, I was up in the Karoo, there's no signal, no power, nothing. And this was a lifesaver when it came to my GoPros. So, like with the GoPro 8, um, you can see that is your micro type C. And there we go. And charge that. Um, then, at the same time, you can charge your iPhone or a micro USB. So, say for instance, we're charging our light here, it doesn't. Um, you know, all these things can charge at once. So another thing you can do is actually plug in another USB on the top here 
plug it into say this wireless router which I use for business and there you go <laughs> it's charging that so you can charge multiple devices on the go at the same time and not worry about the power bank draining itself too quick but you know they're charging the speaker so a lot of a lot of these devices let's just put it all in picture they're busy charging at the moment a lot of these devices I won't do this I mean the battery is quite good on this um, this uh, speaker but these little guys your cell phone these devices that you're always using I mean the new cell phones which are in this new tech day and age every screen is bigger you need a power bank especially if you're traveling um, just to power it up again and so you can charge it through these two ports so this is also in and out USB-C so if I've got um, a laptop charger for an Apple Mac um, so that can also charge this power bank which is really really cool but there's one party trick with this which I want to show you so this is a laptop a full-on Mac laptop okay so have you ever had a meeting you've got a Skype call coming through you in a bit of an emergency and there's your freaking laptop is dead so this is quite cool there you go it charges this laptop so i'm um, this macbook pro it's not a small laptop but it charges this power bank charges the laptop i think it's good for about one charge um but this is really cool if you you know got a layover at the airport and you really need to to jack up your power on your your mac so yeah, the form factor of this device is really nice and slim. It's light and you're allowed on the airplane with it. So um, really good. So I do recommend this ready. Um, what is the name again? The full name is the P10 Pro Traveler. Yeah. And as it says on the device as well, flight friendly. Um, I normally carry it with, you know, in the bag. It's pretty much the size of a, a Samsung s10 yeah and you can see the comparison there really nice device yeah thanks guys that is available on um you know your local outlets just google ready power banks um yeah thanks for watching and hope you don't run out of power and if you do get one of these guys